Number one, does a cation gain protons to form a positive charge or does it lose electrons? Great question and great start to chapter four. Hi, I'm Christina, and we're going to be doing all of chapter four, chemistry atoms first, right here, the entire solution manual. So let's get started. Well, what is a cation? Well, it says it kind of in the name, right? Ion is always a charged atom. They just put the word cat in front. Okay, but that's cool. Just know that a cation is always the positively charged atom. All right. So whether a atom, for example, whether sodium is a plus one, right? Lithium is a plus one. Magnesium is a plus two. Aluminum is a plus three. These, all of these would all be classified as cations because they are always a positive charge. And the charge, aka the oxidation state, will always be in the top right hand corner. So that's standard. Now, in order to give you guys perspective of this, let me draw a quick atom. So we have an atom, right? And this is going back to chapter one. What are the subatomic particles that are inside the nucleus of the atom? Two of them, right? It's the protons and the neutrons. And where are the electrons? The electrons are outside of the nucleus, right? Called a electron cloud. So in here, right? I'm not going to go into shells, but in outside the nucleus, that's where all of your electrons are. So these two would be electrons. So what do you think is easier for an atom as a whole? This whole thing is an atom. What do you think it would be easier for an atom to do? Lose electrons or gain electrons or lose protons, which are all the way in the nucleus. It would be much easier to deal with electrons because they're more farther out of the atom. If you tried to gain and lose protons, right, which are plus charges, it would be so hard. You would have to go in the electron cloud, in the nucleus, and grab a proton. That's way too hard. So these plus charges always stem from electrons. So a plus one means that your overall charge is a plus one, which means that you should have one more proton than electron. So the plus really means that you lost electrons. I'll just put E negative. So in this case, a plus one signifies that you lost one electron. In aluminum's case, it lost three electrons in its electron cloud. So let's just say this was one, two, and three. All three of these would be gone. That's all that it is. Keep in mind that you never, ever, ever, ever touch protons. If you touch a proton of an atom, it would turn into a completely different atom. So they never lose or gain protons for a single atom. You always will either lose electrons or gain electrons. So to add this, to answer this question, does a cation gain protons to form a positive charge or does it lose electrons? It loses electrons and that's that. On the flip side, anions, which I'll put over here, anions are the negative charge ions. So negative means that gain electrons. All right, so cations always lose electron, anions always gain electrons. Simple as that. All right, so guys, what'd you think? Good start to chapter four, I would say. Let me know in the comments if this helped. Give it a like, and if you want to subscribe to the channel to know when our next batch of questions are coming out, hit that subscribe button. It would help the channel out a lot, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's start chapter four with a bang. I'll see you all in the next question. Bye-bye.